This is the pen tool, and the pen tool is an invaluable tool in Illustrator. I've just clicked on the screen, and I'm just moving my mouse across the screen, and I'm going to click. If I hold the Shift key down, Illustrator wants to make that perfectly straight or 45 degrees or horizontal. I'm just going to click on the screen here, bring it across and Illustrator is telling me that if I was to click here then that would be vertically straight underneath that first point. I'll ignore that and I'll come across and now I'm going to close that shape using the little hint there below the pen tool that tells me that if I click there now it'll close that shape. Now I was clicking on the screen, not dragging. If I click and now I click and hold, the pen tool draws curves for me. So if I click and drag it's a curve, if I click on the screen it is a straight line. I'll undo that. Now, working in concert with the pen tool is the add anchor point tool. So I'm going to add some anchor points to this path. So there is my original shape and now I've added some anchor points. Underneath the pen tool and the add anchor point tool is the anchor point tool. And you can see there Shift C goes between the anchor point tool and the pen tool. The way the anchor point tool works is I click and drag between two anchor points and it turns it into a curve for me. So you can see here I'm just making that edge at the bottom there into a curved edge. I could pull this top up So I could make a, a tooth pretty simply or this is starting to look a bit like a ghost. Now I'm going to zoom right in on this corner here because I don't like the way that that is not curved. It's, it's quite a, a sharp point there. Using my direct selection tool, when I click on that point, there's that little widget that we've seen before and I can use that to make that sharp point into a curve. Now you've seen that before when we used it on the rectangle tool and we used the direct selection tool to round off a rectangle. I could use the space bar even though I have the direct selection tool if I hold the space bar down, it gives me my hand tool and I'm just going to drag along until I can see that other point there that I want to take the edge out of as well. So by doing that, I didn't have to click off this, click onto my hand tool and then click back here. Select that point and round it out. Control 0 so I can see all of my shape and now I could do the same to this point here it's a bit of a, a sharp point and the same to that point there and if I was to use my ellipse tools I could possibly draw a couple of eyes in here put some eyeballs in there and make that into a ghost and that's your task I want you to create a ghost using this pen tool the Add Anchor Point tool and the Anchor Point tool.